Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. This one we got a 3 pack from Galaxy's Edge. Uh, this is the third pack. Um, I think I only got around to reviewing uh, the Hondo Inaka from one of the other packs uh, that I got. It'd be close to 6 to 12 months ago now. Must be 6 months. Um, it was last November I'm pretty sure. I uh, found this one on eBay and got a really good deal on it because um, the box is a little bit dinged. Um, so it comes with three figures and an accessory. Um, Mountain Trooper, Mouse Droid or MSE Droid, Kylo Ren and Commander Pyre. Um, I was going to do individual videos on these but I'm going to do it all as a group. Um, so we'll, I, I will... Uh, do my darndest to put timestamps in the uh, options below for each figure. So as I get onto each one, um, you can sort of just click forward. It's whatever one you want to look at. So great selection of figures. Um, I believe Commander Pyre and the Mountain Trooper are about to be released on single cards as a Target exclusive in the US. So at the time of filming. So uh, let's get a close up look this sweet sweet pack all right so here are the three figures and mouse droid out of the package um these are looking great figures kylo ren's despite being in repack is actually pretty cool um bit of an upgrade from the regular release of uh kylo ren uh has a very slight difference but we'll get into that and commander pyre from star wars resistance is just fantastic so we'll kick off with the mountain trooper here on the left we'll get a close-up look and then we'll move on from there all right, so here is the Mountain Trooper. And uh, I'm going to be honest and say, I feel like this is probably the least excited design from like the First Order for me. Um, I think a lot, of the, a lot of the designs for the First Order, Storm Troopers and like Flame Troopers, Snow Troopers, Jet Troopers, <coughs> excuse me, they're all very, um, very unique. But this one feels like it's very much, um, they've taken a Shore Trooper and just given it that sort of first order look. Um, otherwise, I don't think it's not a bad design. I just think it's a little a little uninspired, perhaps. Um, that's just my two cents. I think the figure came out really well, actually, though. I do really, really like it. Um, and with the pending single card release, uh, it'll be nice to hopefully get another one and add a couple to the ranks. Um, as you'll know, I do army build my first order stuff most troopers are sort of going to get two of each like this guy I'll probably only get one more hopefully at some point but we'll get a closer look at that helmet look it's not terrible um, I just feel like it's borrowing from too much <laughs> at the same time they've kind of tried to Tried to go a little bit Shore Trooper, a little bit Biker Scout, a little bit. Um, and then just put the sort of First Order sort of branding on it, so to speak. But otherwise, it's not bad. The weathering on it's reasonable. Pretty shiny for the most part. A few nicks and dents and dirt marks. And the blaster rifle's pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's the same... Uh, slightly different to the Death Trooper one, I think. I'm just sort of peering up at my Death Troopers as I'm as I'm speaking. Uh, slightly, ever so slightly different. Um, so this could could be a new mold. I'm not 100% sure on that. It looks similar. Maybe the uh, Shore Troopers themselves um, had something similar as well. Um, but yeah, just completely completely blanking. So that could be a brand new uh, blaster rifle. So don't don't quote me on anything there. Um, but if you do know. Please jump chuck it in the comments. Articulation. It's got a ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows. And they got the nice, nice joints that sort of allow a bit of movement, a bit extra movement. Uh, the pinless look looks good. Uh, the torso joint, ball hinged wrists, uh, ball hinged hips, swivels at the thighs. Uh, double joints in the knees and ball joints in the ankles. And that foot looks like it's a little bit warped. Um, that's probably just how it was sitting in the package. 
Yeah, look at that. It's not flat at all. <laughs> I may have to just dunk that in some boiling water and it should just flex back to the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the Mountain Trooper. It'll be a nice addition to my little first order army shelf. The design, I may come around on the design. Uh, the more I look at it, I spend a bit more time with this figure. Especially if we get the uh, Sith Royal Royal Guards or whatever they were, I can't think of what they called, uh, that Palpatine had on Exegol. They got a very similar sort of aesthetic to this, um, just without that sort of headband. Uh, there's sort of, yeah, that sort of head shield up the top there, whatever that is. Um, but they had a similar shape, so hopefully we see one of them in the future. All right, let's move on to a quick little accessory, the mouse droid. Now, how adorable is this thing? And it's actually really nicely painted, really nicely weathered. And this will probably more than likely just end up with my uh, original trilogy Imperials. But it's cool. I didn't realize that the uh, back wheels are only slightly bigger than this front. And uh, they do spin. Get a little bit of spinny action. But overall, that's pretty cool little... For an accessory, for a little chuck-in, that's pretty cool. I like it. It's a little... The little details there. But yeah, the weathering's really nicely done. Alright, on to Kylo Ren. So yeah, pretty much the same figure we've had <laughs> probably three or four times now, different variation. Uh, the variation with this one is his neck is actually painted black underneath the helmet. Um, he doesn't come in it with a helmet, helmetless version. And his cape this time comes black, whereas his outfit from The Last Jedi Kylo Ren was sort of a almost like a deep grey, really deep grey, whereas this one's just black all over. Um, probably more so like the uh, Rise of Skywalker version, um, which was very much the same, pretty much is this exact same figure, um, except the, the robe here doesn't have the hood attached. And of course he's got the pre-smashed helmet. Um, but otherwise he is the same Kylo Ren, um, not a bad mold. I'm just looking forward to <laughs> something a little different. Um, definitely an update to a, a helmetless Kylo Ren is definitely going to be on the cards and uh, a Ben Solo would be sweet too but uh, it's not a bad figure to add to the collection if you're picking up a pack from Galaxy's Edge and you know you want a main hero or villain this is a good pack to pick up especially with uh, one of the other packs coming with Ray as well so not bad at all articulation wise here's a ball jointed head, ball hinged neck Ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, torso joint, ball hinged hips, swivels at the thighs, you can just see under there, double joints in the knees and ball hinged ankles. Um, he also comes with his lightsaber hilt which is pegged to his belt and his ignited lightsaber which is right there in his hand. So just a cool extra Kylo Ren to, to have. All right, moving on to Commander Pyre. You'll be familiar with this character if you've watched Resistance. Um, I still, to this day, have only watched the first season. Uh, the first, second season is on Disney Plus. I just haven't haven't made the time to watch it yet. But uh, this figure looks great in person. Um, just that gold looks really, really nice. I've seen a lot of people do this very simple custom of just painting. A regular stormtrooper and it's effectively the same outcome um, this one has the new elbows whereas the first order the first lot of first order stormtroopers that came out for the force awakens didn't really have great elbow articulation but they did fix that um, i think it was with the last jedi stormtroopers perhaps um, i can't remember um, it might have been that sort of deluxe stormtrooper that came with the heavy weapons and all that um, but he does have the sort of original Force Awakens style helmet 
whereas they did change that up a little bit for The Last Jedi. Um, but it's looking pretty good. I actually like that it's not completely all gold. I do like that he does have these sort of darker grey accents throughout the midriff there. Upper arms on the hand pads, the pauldron. And sort of on the black on the back of the boots there. These are not completely one colour like Phasma was, or Captain Cardinal, who will be coming out very soon. Um, but yeah, just a really, really cool looking trooper. I can't wait to go out and get some shots with this guy. Um, leading some troops into battle. So he pretty much has the same articulation as the regular Stormtroopers. Uh, ball hinged head and ball hinged, uh, sorry, ball jointed head, ball hinged neck. This is obviously a little bit um, complicated because of the uh, pauldron that's in there. That sort of makes that joint a little bit difficult to move around. But you can get a bit of lift and right and a very little bit. You can probably do a little bit more if you if you work at it, but that's okay. It does have ball hinged shoulders, a hinged elbow, ball hinged wrists, joint in the upper torso there, good range of movement. Ball hinged in the hips, swivels in the thighs, sort of hidden behind that armor. Double joints in the knees and ball hinges in the ankles. So. Great articulation, he does have his gold version of the F-11D blaster. That looks pretty damn good. And he does come with a standard black blaster pistol, both of which do fix onto the leg right there. Uh, I'll be honest, this is probably the pick of the pack for me. Um, just really cool to see something a little bit different. He was a cool villain in Resistance. Um, yeah. It's definitely a cool trooper. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to drop any comments and feedback, look, drop them in the uh, comment section below. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Come and have a look at my Instagram and Facebook and all that. and Come and like and follow me there as well. Thank you very much for watching. Till the next video, may the force be with you.